What's up, everybody? Happy Thursday. I was about to say Friday for some odd-ass reason, but happy Thursday. Uh, <laughs> hope you all are having a great day today. Um, getting into this episode, GH, um, I don't know why Jason and Carly are so sure that now that Kate's know who the head of Pikeman is, why they think this is all over for them. I mean, you can't really trust Jagger. You know what I mean? Who's to say? I mean, it's clear that he wants to take Sonny down. So now that he knows who's the head of Pikeman and Valentine is going in the wind, maybe he's going to make that his new mission to take down Sonny and he's going to use Jason to do it. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Jason and Carly can't be so sure that this is all fully over. You know, once the feds got you, they got you. You know, and there's no telling what Brendan is plan planning because Carly went over there a million times running her little flat jack to him. So ain't no telling what he got up his sleeve. Like, this is all far from over. Um, I am glad that Carly finally said it out loud that she was jealous of Britt and that she didn't want Jason to love anybody but her. Because we've all known that for years. Carly has been jealous of every female that Jason has ever been with. Because Carly wants to be the center of attention with him. You know what I'm saying? And it's time that Jason breaks that. Like, if he really wants a real life outside of Sonny and Carly, he needs to break that cycle. But judging by this conversation, it sounds like that's never going to happen. Like, he has an option now. If Jagger holds up his word, then Jason has a real opportunity to do his own thing. But it's apparent to me that Jason doesn't want that. You know, the mere fact that Carly offered him a job and he's sitting there, no, I got to go back and, you know, to Corinthos Coffee. I got to, you know, get through to Sonny because he in trouble. See, that's the problem. But Jason claimed that he's changed. In my opinion, there's nothing about Jason that's changed. I don't see any change within him. Because if you want to go back to being Sonny's little lap dog, that's not change. That's not new. That's par for the course for him. You know what I'm saying? That's the same old, same old change is him finally doing something different and new with his life rather than going back into organized crime you know you got an op opportunity here to do something else do it why sit there and go back and kiss Sonny's ass it's ridiculous like Sonny's a grown man i understand that's his friend but i'll be damned if i get an option to do something else and i'm gonna go back into something that could possibly take me away again because that's what can happen you know what i mean I just feel like it's the same old thing. Him going back to work with Sonny again. That's that's nothing new. So I don't see how he changed. I, I don't get that change. Um, so anyway, moving on from that. Um, I feel bad for little uh, DeWitt. That little um, gossip columnist. I feel bad for him because he should not be you know, reprimanded for doing what he was hired to do. This is exactly what Nina wanted. She wanted the gossip column to boost readership and stuff like that and bring in more revenue. That's what he's doing. Like, you can't get mad at him because he put out a story that affects people that you know. You know what I'm saying? You can't do that. At the end of the day, you knew the type of work he was going to do. Because let's be real. Had that story been about somebody that's not connected to Nina, Nina wouldn't give a damn. Nina would be praising him for the viewership. I mean, for the readership increase, for the revenue increase. She would have been toasting champagne with that man. But because it involves Sonny and Christina, oh, you shouldn't have done that. Oh, you see, you can't play that game. You can't play fast and loose like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you knew what you was doing when you hired him. And I don't think he should have been reprimanded for doing his job. You know what I'm saying? Now you got Christina and them chastising him and stuff like he a child. He don't work for them. He should not have to apologize to them. Like, if Nina don't want hard gossip, hard truth to come out, you don't need a gossip column then. You need to scrap the whole gossip thing. You need to get rid of that. Because Nina's connected to half of poor Charles. Dirt is going to come out about them. Lord knows you don't want him to get the scoop on, you know, what's going on with Willow and Drew. Because that could be published. You know what I'm saying? She can't pick and choose what gossip to put out. You got to put it all out there. If it's going to bring in the numbers, bring in the, re the readership, bring in the revenue, he need to put that out. That's what you hired him for. It's just dumb. Um, 
I am glad that Blaze and Christina are going to do some media training because Lord knows if you're going to be in the entertainment industry where you have to do interviews and stuff, you have to do media training. Have to because you have to know what questions to answer, what questions to dodge, you know, like how to respectfully dodge the question. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely think media training is is needed. Um. So moving on from that. I don't blame BLQ. You know, for putting her terms out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I totally agree with her. Like, if she's going to run this label, she needs to have full autonomy to run it. You know what I'm saying? Natalia needs to be fired. Like, Natalia should not have a say in anything regarding the label and regarding Blaze's career. She's pretty much forced retired from that. You know what I mean? Because Natalia tried to get all up in her feelings talking about, oh, you, you can't just cut me out like that. The hell she can. Yes, she can. I, Natalia is a narcissist. Like, she really thought she could say what she said, have this big scandal come out, and you think you're still going to be that girl manager? Absolutely not. That They're trying to forge a new path. They're trying to revamp Blaze's image and get her career back on. You can't do that when Natalia's still having a hand in her management. You can't do that with her still being around. Absolutely not. This is still fresh. And when you're dealing with the LGBTQ community, they don't forget shit. So <laughs> you really think that they're going to quickly forget about what Natalia said and, you know, welcome Blaze back with open arms and buy tickets to her show, knowing that Natalia, the homophobe, is still managing her and still has a hand in her career? Absolutely not. That's not going to work. So I am so glad BLQ made those terms. She can't have nothing to do with this. Not, nothing to do with the label nothing to do with blaze's career get her out and you know natalia and i agree with sunny natalia does not have many options you don't have a choice but to agree you don't have a choice no other label is going to pick her up and you got somebody with some deep pockets who can fund the label for you you know what i'm saying so you got to fall back whether you like it or not and if i was blq i would have at least negotiated one more term I wouldn't negotiate. I know Sunny gave her complete creative control over the label. Like she's the CEO. You know what I'm saying? She's running the label the day to day. She has complete autonomy over the marketing, over everything. I get that, but I wouldn't negotiate some ownership. That's what I would have did. I would have, I mean, she don't need 50%, but shit. I would have said, well, I need at least 30, 40% ownership of this. At least. You know what I'm saying? That's what I would have negotiated because for me, it's like I'm not about to sit here and just have no type of ownership stakes in this company, but I'm doing all the work, though. You know what I mean? Like, you got to give me something. But I'm glad that she agreed because BLQ need this. And I've been saying for a while she need to run her own label. So I'm glad that she running it. And they sitting there talking about, oh, you know, hopefully Blaze will agree to this. Blaze ain't got no choice but to agree. If she want to be back in the music business, you got to. You know? And my thing is this, even if Blaze say no, I would still talk to Sonny about funding it because BLQ could easily find other artists. That's what I would do. Truth be told, I would find other people. The hell with that. One monkey don't stop no show. Um, Either get with it or get lost. So I'm glad they came to terms with that. Um, Sonny sitting there talking about, oh, Ava going to pay or whatever. He going to make sure Ava get what's coming to her. Oh, please. I hope Ava grind his ass in the dog meat. I hope she win. I'm rooting for Ava on this one. I hope she went. That's just my opinion because that's my boo. And I just feel like it's so ridiculous how he's teaming up with Natalia or talking business with her, talking her period. But yet you're mad at Ava and um, the gossip columnist for putting out, you know, for outing a homophobe. I just think that's stupid. Like, how you mad at them? You should be mad at Natalia. That's just dumb. Um... So anyway, moving on from that, I wonder if we're going to see Dex's family at some point on the show. Like, because he keeps talking about his home life and how it wasn't the greatest. And, you know, he's trying to be the opposite of, of his childhood. Like, he's trying to do things the opposite of what he grew up doing or being around. So I wonder if we ever going to meet his folks, you know, or his siblings or something like that. Because I think that would add more layer to him. You know what I'm saying? Instead of hearing him talk about his growing, his upbringing, we could actually see some of the people you know what i'm saying you ain't got to bring the whole family on but maybe one or two siblings you know to put all the pieces into play um i think that would be pretty dope but i love how you know chase was talking to him about his dad and you know all that type of stuff i think it was therapeutic for chase to talk to dex 
You know what I'm saying? I really did. I think that was like therapy for him. Um, I still don't buy Dex as a cop. But hopefully maybe he'll surprise me and be a good one. Because Lord knows his boss isn't. <laughs> Run around letting criminals go. But um, he got potential. I mean, Dex, I feel like he has potential to be a good character. They got to flesh him out well. You know, they got to write him better. And I feel like he could definitely be a good character on the show. Because they need long-lasting characters. You know what I'm saying? You got to set up that next generation. So I think Dex has the potential. Um. So anyway, moving on from that. I enjoyed the Tracy and Cody scenes. I really did. Tracy, funny as shit. When she was talking about how her father sleep, she pretty much said her father sleep like a bat. <laughs> She pretty much said that man slept like a bat. That shit was funny. Um, I love Tracy. But it's funny, though, because I'm like, for rich people, how is it possible that their air conditioner makes noises, like humming noises and stuff? They wealthy people. Don't they got central air? And I would assume it don't make no noise. You know, y'all are multimillionaire billionaires. Like, y'all should have that type of shit that's silent. You know what I'm saying? But it, it gets the house cold. <laughs> Um, I love how Tracy still keeps that, that bitchy attitude, but at the same time, she's opening up more. You know what I'm saying? You still seeing that soft side to her. And I love it because as Tracy gets older, it's like, you know, you starting to see more of that soft her and I'm enjoying it. You know what I'm saying? Like her opening up to Cody and stuff about how she should have ran from the altar and her, some of her mini marriages. Um, that was pretty cool. I love the, the dynamic between her and Cody. And it was funny when she told him that if he left without giving her 30 day notice, he wouldn't get no recommendation, no um, severance. Tracy is hilarious. Um, but yeah, that was pretty much the whole episode. Um, hit the comment section. Let me know what you all thought. And I will see you all later. Have a great day. Peace.